Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is Puckett and Gandhi, and we got a hell of a matchup coming up, but they keep delaying. We're waiting on Aix yeah. to send us a beautiful invite, which both of us will accept and cherish, and Gandhi, yeah. it just took me saying it on stream to make it happen. I just got mine. I'll make sure you get yours. Complexity, Bro, it. Envy, coming up next, and Complexity, they're coming into our fall full sale event in October 18th. That'll, or 19th, rather, it's a Saturday, happening down in Florida. They're definitely going to be the favorites for me in that tournament. What do you think about the four squads? We got Complexity, NV, or sorry, Complexity, Optic, Unite, and FaZe competing there. Well, I got to say, I think I speak on behalf of the entire community when I'm willing to say that and I think I'm really excited to watch Optic play with JCAP. Online, they seem to be doing very, very well in their scrims. Uh, I know when they played against Complexity, although, you know, you have to take into consideration Complexity has two people on the East Coast and two people on the West Coast. So online's not fun for them, but right. Optic is still doing very, very well. And I think JCAP was kind of like a spark that they needed. So I think Optic's going to be kind of like my team to just kind of watch to see how they do. But I think Complexity, uh, you, you'd be foolish to not say Complexity should take it. All right, give me your one through four. Who finishes where? You're gonna, you're gonna put me on the spot, huh? I'm, I'm doing it. Um, okay, what are the seeds? You gotta give me the seeds. So All right. one plays four, right? So number one seed, complexity. Number two seed is gonna be Unite. Number okay. three and four. Ooh. Three's gotta be Optic. I think three's Optic for sure. And then yeah. Phase would be four. So it'd be complexity versus Phase. Should I just go through the format for... Yeah, 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 let's go. Let's go through the format and bring it all back here and make it sure everyone's We're on the same page. We're just gonna patient. wax on, wax off with that previous conversation. Start back even. So, if you guys didn't know, we got a five thousand series, fifteen thousand dollar tournament coming up mid October, the week after Gfinity. We will be in Winter Park, Florida, right next to Orlando, at the Full Sail University for the Fall Invitational. We did the rankings. They rock. They locked two weeks ago, and the. Four teams that accepted their invites were Complexity, Envy, or so oh my goodness, Complexity. I you see Envy in this Envy, game. Man. You love them. Unite, <laughs> Phase, and of course Optic. Complexity comes in with one, Unite two, Optic three, and Phase four. And for the tournament format, we're going to have kind of, if all of you guys are StarCraft fans out there, you'll understand it. But if you've never watched GOM, it's basically the GSL style of group play where one is going to play four, so Complexity versus Phase in the first round. And then you're going to have Unite face off against Optic. The winners will go on to play each other, and the losers of those first match will play each other as well. Now, in the winners match, no one's getting eliminated, but the loser will have to play the winner of the losers match. Did you get all that, Gandhi? Oh, I got it. I'm there. So the losers so match, you're going to eliminate one. The winner of that, they get a second chance against the loser of the winners match which will decide the two teams in the finals. So, with that said, I think the I think Unite has a very, very, very good matchup against Optic, so I kind of expect to see Unite versus Complexity in the finals. You think Unite's and got the advantage over Optic there? I think they do. I think they have a very, very good matchup on there, and to my knowledge, I don't know if Optic has ever lost to Complexity in a tournament as well. I could be wrong. Keep in mind, I'm new, so don't flame, you know what I mean? But Don't flame. <laughs> I think Optic beats out FaZe. I think FaZe takes third, and then I'm assuming it goes into a continuation series if they play Unite, correct? Uh, nope, no continuation. No. Oh. I don't oh, believe okay. so. Well, I could be wrong. They, I could see them getting second, but if you made me put money on it, I'm saying FaZe fourth, Optic third, Unite second, Complexity first. Boom. Yep. That's Scott's list. That's my list. I Don't get me wrong, though. I, I'm, I'm interested to see how good Scump does. Uh, I want because, Optic to win it. I was like, just thinking. I was like, what would be best storyline-wise coming into our well, November Ghost Tournament? To have three different champions, four different champions. We've had Impact. They no longer exist. They're half Unite now. You've had Complexity. Then Unite officially won our PAX event. Who's going to win the fourth event for MLG this year? Makes if it's sense. Optic Gaming, that makes November even even crazier. 
yeah, it makes uh, it makes it very, very interesting to say the very least. But I think my main thing is, you know, Scump. When I watch online scrims, like there's times where he's sitting there and he's like running around and mowing people down with the scorpion. And don't get me wrong, like a lot of people think it's like an online gun, and I hate, I hate the scorpion. I can't stand it. Why? It lights me on fire, dude. It, there's nothing worse than just getting melted. And I get shredded, and there's nothing I can do. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm done. You know then that thing sucks at distance, right? Yeah, I get it, but it doesn't matter. I don't play smart. You got <laughs> Patience is not a virtue with me. I got it. it. Yeah. Sprinting's so, fun. Yeah. With that said, I want to see how well they're going to do on lane. I really, I have a lot of expectations for them in all seriousness because JCap. I felt JCap on Envy was just kind of taking the blunt of all the attack from like Rambo because you know Rambo's so smart. So he's like, well, if we are getting a bad spawn, it's got to be on JCap because you're anchoring, and he's not getting that same kind of flack from the guys on Optic. They kind of are just like, hey, you're doing well, you know, and it's positive reinforcement, and I think that's really going to help carry him forward. Mr. JCap, gotta mm -hmm. love watching him. I hope that we're going to see the winner of this face off against Optic in the finals of this tournament. One can only hope, but guys, right now, you'll notice at the bottom of your screen, there is a premium code to redeem it. You gotta be the first one to majorleaguegaming.com slash redeem. That's R-E-D-E-E-M for all of you second graders out there. <laughs> um, in case you, spelling is not your strong suit, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Shimmy, I got you too, buddy. All right, so. Premium code, that's one month of game battles. And what does the premium do for you? Well, you're going to get premium support from our staff if you have any disputes with your matches. But also, you'll be entered into, or you get your choice of any tournament you want to enter that month, paid for for free. So, pretty cool stuff. Get your 2000 series on for next weekend. Scott, we got all kinds of 2000 series tournaments. Not only this one, we're starting up in October with the 3rd, I think the 10th. I don't even know if these dates are accurate, really? but it yeah, sounds right. I don't even right. know if that's a weekend. The 19th? No, it's definitely the 5th. The oh, October the 5th? 5th. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's funny. Don't come on, producer. Send me things in my ear. Yeah. Anyway. So you're like, hey, come on, man. I got people watching me. <laughs> Wait for me right it. Now. Wait for it. Information's coming. Yeah, yeah you on, start off the sentence and you got to hold out. You're like, well, um, and we have tournaments coming up in... <laughs> And there it is. On right. weekends. Um, but really, the big deal that we should point out is up to this point, we've had all of our 2000 series happening on Saturdays. I heard a lot of responses from the community um, saying not only on the Call of Duty side, but also on the Dota side, they would love to see a swap to move Call of Duty big tournaments onto Sunday so that they can watch college football on Saturdays. I know a lot of you guys are out there in college. And the Dota guys, they were doing a Monday, Wednesday, Sunday schedule. And then you have Sunday, Monday, back-to-back. -back. Well, we swapped it. So all 2,000 series into October and beyond will be held on Sundays so that you have three days a week of Call of Duty, and they're spaced out nice and pretty Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Get your game yeah. on. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, you know, the, I got to say, the one thing that's very unique about the 2,000 series is, you know, back when I played and back when me and you casted together, there was nothing to actually keep the players engaged. Normally we saw is it was always about that two-week crunch. How many times did we say that? Like, oh, well, that two-week crunch, man, they went out to the Pinocchio's house and they were sitting there grinding for like a week. You cool. didn't even play. You would take no. like six weeks off oh, after no. a tournament. Yeah, it was, uh, I would take like a traditional four to six weeks out. But, you know, I was also like guaranteed top day. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm amazing, I don't have yeah. any trouble, no need to warm up. Yeah, the, the egos and really gets the best of you. But with this, it actually keeps players engaged and they always want to prove, especially in Call of Duty, you always want to prove that you're still better than everyone. And it's, I always find it funny how every time a pro uploads a YouTube video, it's like, oh, going against complexity, like 250 to 50 versus Cole. And it's like, oh, well, complexity really is that good. Yep, they're pretty darn solid. Um, and we should point out, guys, that I really like what's happening on the Dota side with the league play right now. Scott, would you ever like to see league play for first-person shooters? It's something that we've never been able to do or haven't executed yet. And I think it would be really nice to have like 8 to 16 teams that you're always focusing on and watching play on a regular schedule. Yeah, I think that would be amazing. And the best part about that is as you start building these players as, hold on, I gotta, I gotta mute Kruppi, he's, he's like singing and stuff, it's going right in my ear. I don't know what he's doing. Him and his Drake. Please uh, tell me it's Justin Timberlake. Oh. Nah, it was like Drake, Drake, I think, I don't know. I don't keep up with those youngins anymore. 
<laughs> at, the, at the ripe old age of 24, I'm past that. I listen to country and fish for bass. Hi, brother. I come out there every day. Ha. <laughs> I do. Uh, but so, uh, I don't even know the question now. You threw me off my game. Yeah, I don't uh, remember the uh, question either. Uh, league play. League play. Uh, league play, yep. And the best thing about that is, is because you want to start developing these players as personalities and you want to get like they do it next one job some of them do it with youtube but you can grow them so much more and it'd be so awesome to see a team go from one week to another to see if they improve if they get worse what team put in work and then right. it'd be awesome it'd be so nice i think the pro or the 2000 series is a nice little sample of getting to see the big name teams every weekend but hopefully i'll be working on something in the future to get you guys even more excellent matches on a regular basis and we'll be able to promote that tell all your friends to tune in and speaking of times to tune in we have all but two players in this lobby so tell your friends it's about to go down complexity versus envy we're going to a quick commercial break on the other side of it we are praying for game number one <laughs> let's get it in here envy let's do it complexity we'll be right back
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is Puckett and Gandhi, and I gave Gandhi zero notice we were coming back from commercial. Nope. You, you handled it like I a champ, know. Gandhi. Yeah, well, I just heard your voice, and I was like, well, yep. throw a fist bump or something, do something. You're called off guard. Yeah, bro. we're doing it. All right. Yeah. Well, we're just waiting on the fourth for complexity. We have all of Envy in here, and we have some uh, breaking news for this tournament. Complexity not playing with TP. He's kicking soccer balls today. Instead... Yep. They got a pretty awesome fill-in. Who's going to be playing for them, Scott? Uh, it's going to be Mercs. And by Mercs, I mean Miracles, because somehow he gets Miracles out of M-I-R-X. Uh, it's a Vegas spelling bottom. thing. Don't question it's, it. Yeah, I get it, but I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> this doesn't make sense to me. Uh, so Miracles, is actually, it's going to be an interesting fit. Similar play styles a little bit. Uh, but I think, for me, I, I'm, a, I'm kind of like a TP fanboy. Uh, and I just, I like his communication. He has that old-school communication where... He's telling his team where he's going. He's like, all right, I'm pushing into blue. I'm going to be pushing through dumpsters, like stuff like that. That little small talk really kind of takes your team to the next level. So I think they're going to be a little bit hurt without him, but it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, so normally when you watch Miracles play, he was, of course, top tier player all around. He won yeah. the MLG Dallas event. He won Call of Duty championships with Impact. Uh, kind of struggling recently. He and Kill did not perform too well at PAX, but now he's filling in on this curse lineup, and I really like him there working with Bielfire. But he's filling in for complexity tonight, and something that I noticed about Miracles is when he was on impact, he was kind of a very intelligent player. When you'd watch him, you would always let one person run by and then get the first pick before cleaning up the player who just ran by him. Nowadays, he is playing like Killa always does, which is just mm. running, gunning, slaying everything he sees. That's not necessarily the same play style that we've seen out of TP in the past. So no. what is his role on this squad? Does Complexity play around him, or do they try and get Miracles to play in TP's play style and do nothing but objective? I think that's going to be the interesting part of this game for me and seeing yeah. who from Complexity, if not Miracles, decides to run that objective. I think we could see Krim6 doing it. Yeah, you know, Crim6 is, you know, he, he's he's a previous Halo uh, bro as well, but his main thing is he's kind of like the princess of this team. I feel like uh, when I watch Crim6 him, Crim6 is like, the princess. I feel like Crim6 is the princess, even though Clayster is kind of like the one who gets kind of all the fame and stuff because he has the big snipes, he has the big plays. Uh, he rarely ever loses an individual battle. I, I don't see it being Crim6. It might be, but normally what happens from, you know, because I watch a lot of streams because in Call of Duty, you don't actually learn that much playing it uh, because, well, I don't because I'm not good. So when I watch streams, you know, with the communication, you're able to figure out like, oh, you stand there to block gas. But when I normally watch teams get, grab a pickup, they're kind of like, the pickup always goes, hey, all right, so what do you want me to do on this map? And they go, all right, I want you to run trophies and do an EMP and stuff like that. And Normally, they just adjust. So I think Miracle should be able to fit in, but he, he it's going to definitely take a hit to his play style. Well, he's an eights player. I think he can fit in anywhere. We'll see <laughs> how fits. well he's able to ease in to complexity, though, because Envy is not going to be an easy victory. Nope. They're coming in, in hot. You guys watched them in our very first match of the day. They absolutely crushed Aim Point, their first opponent. Opponent, excuse me. Yeah, um, birds. Yeah, <laughs> who needs those anyway? <laughs> No, I can speak in tongues. So who, who's your number one player to watch on each team? I think after all the talk, Merc, I think, is going to be my player to watch on Envy. How is he gelling with this new lineup? I, Merc's definitely had a different, a different route than what he's used to in the past. When he first joined, you know, because Proofy's really grounded to his ways. And there's a lot of times where you see Proofy like, oh, man, like, what does Twitter want to see me use? Do you want to see me run a sub? Do you want to see me run an AR? And now he's finally just stuck in his ways, and he's like, I'm an AR. So when Merc joined the squad, he was like, well, <laughs> I normally anchor. And Proofy was kind of like, well, let's both try it. And when Proofy was running the sub, it didn't work out for the best for him. But when Merc was running it, it still worked for him. So Merc went from an AR to a sub now on the majority of the map. So he's really changed his play style a lot. And I think he's finally getting used to it. But with that, they still, different Envy squads show up every day there's times okay. where they beat call like or complexity i can't say call what is you say call you just i don't i don't like that at all yeah there, there's times where they beat call and then there's times where <laughs> they get annihilated by even like a team like fuff or whatever their team name it's like f-u-f i think it's fuff <laughs> <laughs> sure yeah. let's go i watched it's, it, it's like night and day so it all depends on like the day for them which is 
makes sense, but at the same time, it's like, God, you guys, I want to see you guys be consistent. Can someone in the chat please tell me what FUF stands for? Because I'm with Scott. I've always called him Fuff <laughs> as well. And that just makes me un uncomfortable on the inside. Right? Yeah, because it's 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 two it's two letters away from me slipping on camera. Even one if you put it as a K. Anyway. Oh, you classy broad. You get it. Think outside that box. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh, so once again, guys, we got Rambo, Karma, Proofy, and Lord Merc inside the game. We got Krim, Aix, and Clayster, the, the original three from Complexity. What will they do as we are just waiting on their fourth miracles? Gandhi, I think we should give him two more minutes, and if oh! he doesn't get in here, you need to play. What oh, are you excited oh. about? What just happened? God knows if they're putting me in the sub route, <laughs> things could get a little bit ugly. Uh, I would have to literally, I would just, I would go in there. I would not only would cast it, but I would also play and communicate to just you. So my team, I would basically be a big hindrance, but I would, <laughs> I would show the world my skills. I, I think you'd be a fantastic be villain. Well, oh, we got some good news. Mr. Miracles has just joined, and our first game is going to be on Raid Hardpoint is your game type. I can't wait to get this one started. Complexity, Envy, eight players in the room. Do your classes fast, Miracles. Gandhi and I have been waiting for this for quite some moons. Uh, it's only been an hour and a half. <laughs> what, what's time, right? Time's what's, just relevant. What's time? None <laughs> of us have anything to do. By the way, everyone who has a cell phone and you're watching the stream right now, do me a favor. Also, for those of you who do not have a cell phone but know how to click multiple tabs in your <laughs> browser, get on Twitter right now and everyone send at MLG C O L E Y, that is MLG Coley, a big happy birthday message. He's turning 26 today. He is the one who gets all of the streams up and running and out to you guys from MLG Studios. So much love, Mr. Coley. I dedicate this Envy versus Complexity match to you. <laughs> if it ever happens. It might. It might if not, you're just gonna have a crappy birthday, man. I'm sorry, I got no yeah. better gifts. Um, but also, we have another GB premium code to honor Mr. Coley's birthday. F 5RJIWBE5LPUE, for those that can't read but have ears. <laughs> Type that in. Go to majorleaguegaming.com slash redeem. Put in your code and get your free Game Battles yeah. premium code. The first one there is going to win that race. Gandhi, the players are ready. The map Woo! is loaded. Why don't they hit start? Uh, I think they're talking right now. I think this is where Miracles is like, yo, uh, so what do you want me to do? And they go, well, <laughs> well you gotta adapt to us. You should and do he's some like, big well, things okay. this game. So right now it's probably a little trash talk. He's like, oh yeah, you remember COD Champs? <laughs> Good job. We're gonna do that to you again. All right, well, here we go. Complexity, Envy, it's all kicking off right now. Get your friends in here. Woo! We're on MajorLeagueGaming.com and Twitch TV slash MLGCOD. If you guys are watching this from VOD, we'll have all of the games from today's 2000 series up on our YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash official MLGCOD. And I'm starting things off with the Crimbot. Mr. Crim6 is on your screen to open things up. Ah, Crimmy Poo. The, the one thing that's great about Crim6 is that, oh, God, he just gets taken down instantly. <laughs> Uh, but I was going to say, the one thing that's awesome about Crim6 is there's he's referred to as Crimbot, and there's times where he just can't be beaten, and it's so fun to watch. Yeah, they, uh, they say he's like the Terminator, I think is his most common nickname, and I absolutely think that one is totally fitting. Not the best start for Crim. You got to question whether it's uh, because he's on the West Coast struggling with the online delay or maybe just needs to warm up. There's a headshot as he takes down Merc, takes Merc's M8 as well and they will be able to fight back for the final 20 seconds of this hill. As I say that, Proofy comes in, locks things down with a triple kill, and I think it's going to be Envy set up for our kitchen hard point first. Yeah, they did a good job. And so basically your transition when you go from this first hill to the second one is you want to push through laundry. You never want to come through the front. You want to avoid pushers basically at all costs, and they did an excellent job there. So even though Karma now has to rotate and he's going to be taken out, it looks like they should be able to get the spawns, and they do. So this is this is looking good for them. Also, I'm jumping on board with Rambo. He's cut down from the window. Scott, I'm just going to be jumping across to all different players you here. And look at your mini-map here, guys. All four members from Complexity just bull rushing the front door. Envy able oh. to push them back as that is going to be Merc working with Proofy inside. They get all four kills. 
Three of them belong to Merc, who is now within 100 points of getting his Hellstorm missile. Oh. He's gonna be taken down, but right there, that's... When you get... When you're complexity in that scenario, you either... When you have, like, 40 seconds, you want to try to push through laundry, you want to go through money, but they just said, you know what, screw it, we're gonna try to bull rush, and Envy is looking so dominant already on this it's so fun to watch i'm loving karma with the m8 in his hand he's doing work on poolside but it's proof your player to watch at the moment was the first to rotate for envy a Oop. big kill here cannot get it miracles is going to get the best of him and now miracles is going to have his hands full knowing pressure's coming it's rambo ray a big kill there to get complexity back in the game they're going to need almost every second in this garage hard point to bring it in within range as uh as i'm looking at the mini map here great spawns for envy and i think it was uh who's that that's proofy who got them these spawns rambo with the double kill in the garage everything going perfect for envy so far scott yeah and proofy uh throwing down those trophies those trophies are so important to throw in there just because they normally come through the front they like to smoke and then they like to roll and if there's one thing uh we know from rambo watching rambo's stream is, is he always runs smokes and he always just runs straight through it. It's kind of like his MO, so they're used to that. They're like, well, if Rambo does it, probably other people are going to do it, so let's just get those trophies out immediately. All right, Rambo on a four-kill spree, still on your screen. Has a player inside the garage, could battle against Aches and go for the 200-point bonus. Will not get the kill, though, and he's going to give up for a second. Oh. Will not get any more score streaks as well, so stuck with just the Hellstorm missile. Big kill out of Aches, but Complexity has their work cut out for him. A 60-second deficit. They have Crim6 in the hard point, but does he have support? Rambo's trying to take him out with the Hellstorm. Yeah, barely hits him just enough, but if he comes in there, he's going to be one shot, so he can kind of get away with getting bull rush, but he's still staying alive. Rounds corner, and down he goes. But even still, Complexity's not in a bad spot. If, when you check out Clayster here, he's going to get this guy getting him the spawns. Down goes Karma, and now they have basically control back as soon as they push on this hill. Miracles is going to go down after leading the charge. Crim6 into the action, picks up a dirty double on Rambo and Merc, and Clayster will be taken out as well. Crim6 and Merc both falling to Karma. And, uh, man, Miracles, rather. Aches with a double kill as well. This one, it's it's going back and forth in the yep. slang column, but Envy just doing a better job in the first two hard points will give them about a 50-second lead still with 5.50 left on your clock. Yeah, and the one thing that's kind of lucky for Complexity is that they were able to contest that garage hill so well. What we see is normally garage and basketball is normally a full 60 if you do it right, and they did an excellent job at breaking that. So now this is where it gets a little bit sloppy, and we see kind of ARs kind of run around and just kind of destroy. So I'm looking at either Proofy or Clayster. So take your pick, Puck. Proofy or Clayster? Can I go oh, yeah. audible onto Karma? Yeah, go for it. All right, Karma's been rocking the M8 all game long. And he's doing some damage with it. Let's take a look at his stats. Currently on top of the leaderboard, 17-10, three, def er, three captures, five defends, playing with three bar. Woo. As you can see, it's definitely a Crim6 connection from Washington, the only player in the game with four bar. Aches on a four-kill spree, though, also with an M8, and he just picked up a nice triple. Oh, my goodness. Aches is just a monster. So now this is going to be the transition. So we got five seconds. They're going to set up for the new one. And the main goal I want you guys to look at for complexity is they want to eventually flip the spawns. They want to get control of laundry and force Envy to spawn on the opposite side. And that's basically their main goal here. And Clayster just won that battle back laundry, Scott. Let's see how mm -hmm. long he can stay in this position. Clayster's definitely the player from complexity you want locking this down. Yeah, Clayster's just such a savage, dude. He's so good. And it looks like they're going to do it. He's, he oh. comes out of laundry, and he stays alive here. I guess there's some sloppy shots, but his radar looks like there's chicken pox because all the members of Envy are just flooding him. So many red dots on the top half of your screen, and look at these spawns here. No good oh. for complexity as Miracles try to do whatever he can from inside the pillars. He's cut down. Aix is rotated all the way back, but this is just time they've given to Envy. And Envy pulling out to about a 70-second lead and counting as Miracle's trying to do work. But there's just too many players constantly flooding that hard point. They are going to definitely need to lock down this kitchen if they want back in the game. Otherwise, Envy, they're just going to be able to run away with it. Yeah, uh, now we're seeing is we have Crim6 in the hill. We do have Miracles in the back. We're going to see a Hellstorm muscle come in. Then it's going to just not get anyone. I would have personally held on to my streaks. I think that's kind of, you want to kind of use your streaks for when they're rotating the garage. But even still, Complexity has to make sure they lock down the back. And down goes Crim6. And now it looks like this is all Envy. 
Merc doing damage. Proofy now in their double trophy system, calling down his score streaks. Had to put those away for the moment, but I would expect a lightning strike as soon as he's able to clear out the kitchen. Now it's Karma's turn. The double kill will get him some coverage. Also has Rambo protecting four straight kills for Karma, but it's Clayster breaking in with the MA and Complexity getting hill time. Yep, Clayster now, although normally we don't see him, like players rush the hill with an AR, he just had such a spawn that it was like, well, you know what, I got to contest this for my team. But we have five seconds here, so there's not going to be no more contesting. Clayster's going to try to cut off angles, and if you're Envy, you got to say, well, we're, we didn't kill anyone on rotations. We have one really good push at this, and then we have to disconnect. All right, 240 left on the clock. This is a big hill for complexity lockdown. You got Miracles inside behind the van oh. getting tagged up. Clayster with the double takes out Proofy. And here we go, Complexity, can they hold on? Miracles with a big kill from behind the van with the MSMC, locking down Jim. They're pulling within 50 seconds now. Yep. And here is Complexity's comeback. You gotta keep in mind though, that there are score streaks in favor of Envy. I believe Merc has some still left as well as Karma. Yeah, Proofy, it, it, it's actually, Proofy's the only one. I just flipped through Proofy. as you were saying. Okay. That Proofy, Proofy has two, but so right now, uh, Clayster's gonna get caught trying to rotate. And so normally we see as like the rotation start about 30 seconds and they start pushing their way through. And although they got so much time and they clawed their way back into this, Envy's set up perfectly uh, for the basketball. So it's gonna be interesting. Clayster's my player to watch here. He won't be able to break his way through the kitchen. Now it's up to Miracles. Nice cover fire oh. from Eggs, takes out one. And Miracles is going to be jumping in. Met up top. Great setup, as you mentioned, from Envy as they're picking up all the kills outside the hard point. Inside, you got Rambo watching the front door, and he's going to be the first line of defense. Gets an assist as Karma cleans up a player over his shoulder. All up to Karma now. Proofy picks up two with the lightning strike, and this could be what Envy needs. 30 seconds away from victory now with 70 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, he's, so he's going to throw down this kill streak there. He's going to get Hellstorm. He's going to kill himself, and he's going to kill a guy. But it was kind of worth it now. So we're looking at there's 15 seconds left. Complexity is going to have to really get a good push on this last hell puck. Like, they have to really lock it down. And I'm looking at Proofy. He's already throwing down trophy systems, so they're not going to be able to just get a kill with a pick from the nade. So it's they have to win their gun battles here. That's big. I'm on board with Proofy. As you said, he threw down those trophies, already getting some points from them. Karma is going to be the player watching Kitchen. He's shut down, going back to Proofy now as there is a player inside, but the hill is locked down by Rambo, and they are within yep. the game, and that will do it. Mathematically impossible for Complexity to make the comeback now as Envy. They got the early start in the first two hills, and they never looked back, trying to get to 250. Now Rambo will get the assist. Can he secure the win? It's all up to Merck, and I think Merck just did it. 250 oh to 201. Did you see Merck's kills? Merck just dropped 38 kills, Puck. 38 with a sub? <laughs> Look at this. He's just, he had one of the best games, I think, and we barely went to his screen. He was destroying, though. Merck is, he's hes the player, I, I think for Merck, just, just to go a little bit off topic here, I think for Merck, he was just, he wants to win more than anything. And I think that's what's good about him joining with Envy because Rambo wants to win. And that's that's all. I can't believe he had 38 kills. That's I, I just wrote it down. That was Merck's game, and he did it with the submachine gun, showing that versatility and why he is still one of the best players in Call of Duty. Envy taking game number one from Cole featuring Miracles. They're going to need to bounce back in Search and Destroy. That is game two coming up after this.